<laughs> My car was not built for this. Oh, this is a mistake. I deserve to go to jail. Maybe they won't be willing to take their car where I'm taking my car. Am I actually getting away right now? Did I just juke them on the stairs? What's up guys and welcome back to Thief Simulator. And to start off today's episode, we have some reverse thieving to do. You know, normally I would break into people's homes, I would steal things from their bedside tables, but for today's episode, I need to leave something. Something that may or may not be a bomb. I'm still not sure, I have no indication, but we do know that it comes from the Mafia. So it could just be a horse head, it could be a pound of drugs, could be a horse head full of drugs. Honestly, I have no idea, all I know is that it's not my place to ask. Now, the last time we were here, we blew $700 on a micro camera and put it in their mailbox. And I'm still not sure why. It told me to come back 24 hours later, and I'm guessing now is the time for us to collect our crotch high shots of the mailman. Hint discovered. Tenant's daily routine. Oh, it spies on them and tells me where they are. And they're both currently out. This is... Perfect. Hey dudes, you want to buy a horse head full of drugs? <laughs> okay, be on your way. I have lock picking to do. This is great timing, right? It's the middle of the day, but <laughs> you guys will also notice that we're in the rich end of town. We haven't done any thieving here before, so I'm looking forward to it very much. Even the children here have high-end laptops. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> The trailers we used to rob didn't even have that much. Oh, seen by camera. What? Oh, come on. Oh, we are off to the worst possible start. And this neighborhood is huge. I I'm just going to have to hide in a dumpster. That's the one thing that I'm really concerned about is if I get in a high-speed chase and I need to get out of here, I don't know if I can. Th there's so many roads and the exits are so far away. Fortunately, I could just hang out in here with the crabs and wait things out. Remember to mark the cameras. Thank you for the reminder, Vinny. You couldn't have mentioned that in the phone call. Like, you just had to include it in tiny little text in the corner of my screen. There, the camera is now marked. We should know our way through now. Listen, you, you just be on your way. I'm not marking any cameras. I'm not stealing any kids' laptops. Just take your Kermit the Frog looking ass somewhere else. <laughs> you gonna mind if I walk in here? Oh, oh, yeah, okay. Neighbors don't like that. Go along your way now. I'm a little concerned with the fact that Vinny said cameras, yet I've only found camera, and there's no way I stepped over there, so there must be another one around here somewhere. There is. Is that one. Oh dear. That's gonna be a problem? Not a problem. Not a problem at all. I don't know how much longer we have, though. They might be home any second, so we might want to just set this where it needs to go and then get the hell out of here. Uh, bedside table's over here, so we're just going to leave you like uh, that. Okay, then. Enjoy your horse head full of drugs. I got a few seconds, right? I can steal a thing or two. That looks expensive. Fan of mustache wax, huh? Me too. Oh, crap. I may have gotten a little greedy. I looked around, I grabbed a printer, and it seems they came home? Where are they right now? Having x-ray vision isn't always a good thing. Oh, is this the front door? Mm, no, don't, don't, don't! Ah, crap. Okay, you know what? Fine, fine. Keep the printer. See if I care. I'm getting the hell out of here. I'm not hiding under a bed, okay? I'm better than that. Where did I park my car? W where did I park my car? Is it over here? My car is over here. We're good. We're fine, right? I can make a high-speed getaway. I'm, I'm sure this is perfectly under control. I'm saying this to keep me calm and not you, okay? Oh, that that's gonna cost me. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. Uh, a little off-roading, maybe? Yep, there we go. There we go. <laughs> My car was not built for this. Oh, this is a mistake. I deserve to go to jail. 
Maybe they won't be willing to take their car where I'm taking my car. Am I actually getting away right now? Did I just juke them on the stairs? What? <laughs> They're leaving. Oh, that's going to hurt the old S rank, but I got away. Did I get away? They yelled, you're under arrest, but I think I just ignored them and left. I made it. <gasps> Vinny, what the hell was that? You're doing all right, you know that? For the next job, go skill up on electronics for me. Okay, for you, anything. But are you going to tell me what was in the package? I really do hate the fact that these conversations are one way. Like, I want to be able to call Vinny and ask him the important questions whenever I can, but I guess for the time being, we're just going to have to do what he tells us. We need to level up electronics level 2. Use PDA for hacking terminals. Requires level 20. That's going to be a problem. I'm only level 18. So maybe we should go back to that place. Looked like there was still a lot of stuff to steal. We know their routine, and I'm really curious what happened. Do you think the bedroom was consumed in a ball of fire? Or do you think it became some kind of... Booger Sugar Wonderland. Our micro camera tells us that at 10 p.m., both of them promptly take a dump together, and then 11 p.m., they're in the bedroom going to bed. Perfect. Uh, don't mind me, sir. Just x-raying people taking, I guess that would be the couple's dump right now. It doesn't look like they're sleeping. <gasps> but this is good. If they go to bed, should be easy enough for me to roam around. They don't have very high security. It's just... These cameras, which I can avoid easy enough. There we go. Boom's gone to sleep. Their windows are covered at night, but that's fine. Mini electric lockpick, man. It's the way of the future for thieves, I suppose. No, 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 no. What are you doing? Go to bed, idiot. I don't know if they're sleeping or banging, and I don't really care. All that matters right now is that we're in. He might be in as well. Hello. First drawer. We've already found a bracelet, an expensive bottle of wine. Oh, this is why you rob the rich neighborhood. $15? I could buy, like, a quarter of a video game with that. The cell phone. Ooh, that was a loud drawer. We don't want to do any loud drawers. Nice, quiet drawers. There we go. That looks expensive. I might fit in the back of my car. I, I want to make sure to check everywhere. Because you can really tap out these neighborhoods pretty quickly. I, I get the feeling I'm going to need the money. I have no doubt that there's a lot of expensive stuff waiting for me back on Thief Bay. Uh, mouse? Oh. I just knew how much that was worth. That's interesting. My appraisal skill came in handy. That was worth $25. I haven't seen a lot of that before. Dark red vase worth $10. Okay, so if we know what stuff is worth, then maybe I'll be a little bit pickier. Right, $10 vase, probably not worth taking. Ketchup, probably not worth taking. Saucepan, $8. Coffee machine, five times experience. Sure. Microwave, $90, seven pounds. Not worth it. Can't open any of these. Oh, I love the fact that I can rob them when they're asleep. It's so satisfying. The old Santa sack is getting pretty full, but I kind of want to push my luck. Oh my god, they have more computers? Another I make? I Mac? <laughs> Even a knockoff is probably worth a lot, and a safe. Holy crap, the rich neighborhood is amazing. Okay, gotta take it a little slower. 21. And then we're gonna go this way. Please don't be loud enough to wake them up. You never know, okay? These, these rich people, they pay for very nice ears. <laughs> there's got to be something good in here. You know there's going to be something good in here. Did I get it? I got it. I got it. We got uh, antique vase. And the floor seems to be freaking out. You guys seeing that? Doesn't matter. Oh, inventory full. Um, We, we, we got time. We got time. Igor has enough vases and cameras from the poor neighborhood, okay? We're going for the antiques. Because I'm pretty sure the last time I stole an antique was that poster, and it was worth a shitload of money. I think we may be good. I think this is as good as it's going to get. I don't really want to press my luck and get caught and then run away, because I want to get that stealth bonus. May we come back here a second time tomorrow night? 
I can't believe this worked. Was this the, the perfect robbery? Flawless? We did it! <gasps> We're scot free! You gotta give me an S rank for that. Absolutely gotta give me the S rank for that, yes! And like I said, the antique vase is green. Not only does it give me just a, a crap load of experience, but I think it's unique somehow. Antiques in general, I'm gonna have to look into that. I, I held onto the poster because Igor didn't want it. Told me to get out of here with that garbage, so maybe we need to sell it online somewhere? Uh, let's see here. We got art, car parts, electronics, kitchen, other antiques. Ooh. Ooh, $1,600, what? $2,000! It would take me like four or five houses to earn that much in the last neighborhood. Holy crap, okay. We're rocking it. And I still have that whole truck to dismantle. I never really got around to that. Oh, here we go. Okay. It's kind of tricky to get the right angle, but I'm guessing these are all the inside parts of the car that I can remove and sell. So if I want to take this off, yeah, exhaust manifold, okay. I, I didn't really want to do this at all, to be perfectly honest. Like, I'm sure I would get great money for a serpentine belt, but at the same time, I would much rather have a pickup truck. Like, I, I got a lot of thieving stuff to haul around. My tiny little car isn't really doing the job right now. This is actually surprisingly in depth because you need to find the actual bolts and screws to get the part off. And if there's another part attached to it, like right now I need to get these ignition wires off if I want to get the cylinder head. Oh, and then I need to get the spark plugs, I guess. Take individual spark plugs as well. Where am I gonna sell all this crap? <laughs> I don't know if Igor is gonna want any of this. I'm just gonna have a pile of truck in the cabinet and no truck to drive. I think I've stripped down most of it. Like, I don't wanna show all of this on camera, but it is really impressive. Like, it, it's super addictive because you're taking apart the entire car. Like, I've removed 30, maybe 40 pieces. It's taken me like half an hour, but I can't get some of these pieces off and I can't figure out why. Does the lift, oh, the lift works. Oh, that might change everything. No, I, I'm gonna leave it. I, I'll. Get it out of the garage door for now, and we'll go steal stuff. I'll worry about the chop shop stuff in between episodes, but I definitely want to break this down and then see if we can sell anything, because I have so many things to sell. So I've already hacked all of the technology that we stole, and I'm gonna break apart all this jewelry as well, so that hopefully Igor will give me quite a bit of money. I'm not sure what we're gonna need to buy next, but I would imagine it's gonna be stupidly expensive. If I'm earning this much money, they're gonna want quite a bit of money. Why don't we quickly check? See what's on the chopping block next technology-wise. We have uh, binoculars for a thousand. No, no, I don't need, oh, I need the hacking PDA. That's it, $14,000. I have nearly 10, I think we can afford it. Hopefully our dear old friend Igor has deep pockets. How you doing today, Igor? You're not gonna welcome me back? What's what's wrong with you? Here, uh, have some wine, coffee machine, flash drive, keyboard and mouse, and the computer, 900 bucks, that's pretty good. Okay, the bracelet is 1200, phone 900. Whoa, we are making bank. $18,000. Okay, that's pretty good. I'll definitely take that. Oh, I want. Oh, I so want. Igor, how much? How much for the thieving, I mean, the, the van, not the thieving van. I'm not calling it the thieving van. 3,500, oh, come on. You're breaking my balls. I want it so bad. I know you want $35,000 for the van. What if I gave you $19,000 and then most of a pickup truck? <laughs> Some assembly required. Get this junk out of here. Wait, what? You don't buy car parts? Who the hell buys car parts then? I, I can't sell them online. Um, That's gonna be a problem. All right, well, I guess we're just gonna have to go steal some stuff because you know that's gonna be mine sooner rather than later. 
Mr. Patterson, you're late tonight. You're supposed to be taking your poop with your wife at 10 o'clock sharp. It's 11.30. What are you still doing up? You had too much cheese, I guess? A little constipation? It's fine, okay? He can just do his business. We'll be in the other rooms, maybe? I've only checked, like, half this house. I can only carry so much stuff, so I really couldn't resist coming back for more. Okay, let's just back it on up. What's he doing? <laughs> he roams around randomly, and it freaks me out. Just, just go to bed. Go bang your wife. Yeah, whatever that is. Sure, that works. Oh my god, please tell me they have a car. Please tell me they have a drum kit. It's kind of looking for a car. I'll take a guitar. I should make sure not to bump into those. <laughs> I was about to see if I could play it and then realized probably not the stealthiest thing that I could do. I don't know why I'm so hopeful for the garages. Like every time I'm just looking through empty paint cans, expecting to find a fistful of money or an antique or a the horse head full of drugs, okay? I don't know, I, I just need to stay positive and I also need to make off with a large item this time. Gotta do it, make off with a piece of art, you never know if it's gonna be worth something. Now, I've been in here, haven't I? Right, yeah, that, that's the freaky floor. I don't think they would have replaced what's in the safe, but this is as far as I got last time, so we're gonna clean out the rest of the house. This should all be empty, okay. That's terrifying, like that. Uh. Another keyboard? Why'd they replace the keyboard but not the computer? A smart thief would check to see when they wake up, but uh, I am certainly not a smart thief. Don't flash your light on them. <laughs> Especially while they're banging, okay? Just grab everything you can and get the hell out. There wasn't nearly as much this time. Your insurance claim not go through? I, I can't steal the toys? What is this? I don't know how I feel about going in this room. Like, it's 4 a.m. They shouldn't wake up. But there's a strong likelihood that they'll wake up. Maybe I could just take a quick look around. Ah, oh, crap. Ah, oh, come on. Maybe I'll wait in here for a few hours. Like, they'll get up, then they'll leave. They go out for the day. And then I can get into the bedroom. Like, I, I don't want to leave any room behind. There's been so much good stuff here. And I need to make off with a painting. Like, I can't possibly leave them but I doubt I can get away with them if they're roaming around, so I guess I'll burn some time. I don't know, I, I need to level up. I really shouldn't have been caught. Why did they wake up? I don't understand. Just just let me sneak around. What's in here? Bathroom. With a magical tub. What's with the magical tub? Should I get inside the magical tub? I don't even think I can jump. We- oh, 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 I'm stupid. That's a camera. That's a camera clipping through the wall. Thank God that didn't see me. Are you serious? This art is worth $40, the other one is worth 10 and they've woken up. So you know what? I think that's it for this house. I will be on my way now. <laughs> so that was a bit of a bust. I got caught. I didn't really steal all that much. The rest of this neighborhood is like Fort Knox. What am I gonna do? Have you ever broken into a man's home in desperation of money and experience, looked over his sleeping body and thought to yourself, that's a guy that needs a horse head full of drugs. <laughs> I need to let that joke die. Okay, I can already feel my ads slowly pissing away. Why would you wake up now? Oh my God, I'm never gonna get away with this. <laughs> I need a sliver of experience. I need just a little tiny bit to level up. Start car, start car, start car. There we go. Okay, well, you know what? Technically, I stole something, and technically, I'm getting away, so I should get some experience for this. Now, to the inexperienced thief, that may have come off as a failure, but trust me, that went exactly according to plan just as I drew it up, because we now have enough experience to learn electronics level two, use a PDA for hacking terminals. And now, Vinny should send us on a mission to hack some terminals, or I can just shove my thumb up my butt, I guess. Uh, story, disable test alarm at home. Okay, we need to practice first. This is really cool. So I can break into people's security systems now, but I didn't 
buy the $14,000 PDA, do I need it? <laughs> it looks like I might need it. This is very complicated. Um, remove only the cables connected to the battery. Moving the wrong cable will automatically alarm the police. Okay. So the battery would be... Valve regulated sealed lead acid type rechargeable battery. Okay, so that's the battery. So we need to remove this and uh, this and uh, this and this. Did I do it? Is it gonna, oh, it didn't explode. <laughs> I was gonna say, Vinny, I'm supposed to deliver the bombs, not defuse them. Jesus. We need you to plant a camera. Go to 206 and stick it in the living room. Eh, don't ask. I wasn't gonna ask, I was gonna tell, finally. I've been saying this for episodes now that I don't want my cameras to be getting dick pics of the mailman, okay? I wanna get the housewife's booties. That's what we're gonna do next episode. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Thief Simulator, guys. And this game is constantly surprising me. Honestly, I don't know if they're continuing to update it as I'm playing it, or if it's just a really full experience already, but every time I unlock something new, I'm just taken back by what it actually is. Whether I'm chopping up a car, or diffusing something, or breaking into a different home, it's still a lot of fun. So as always, if you guys wanna see more, I would love to play more. Be sure to leave a like on this video, let me know, and maybe I'll return to get those booties. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.